Welcome to another Fast Tech video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your PS5 if it's not turning on. So when you press the power button, there's no light, there's no beep on the console. In most cases, this issue is caused by a dead power supply. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to swap that out in this tutorial today. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button. That costs you nothing but it helps us out a lot. So please go ahead and do that before we start this video. This presentation is brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is an automatic screwdriver you can use to disassemble not just your PlayStation 5, but your Xbox, your Apple iPhone, MacBook, and everything in between. It even has a bit you can use to disassemble McDonald's toys with. Now we got a dead power supply in this PS5 and we're gonna get to it, but we have to remove a bunch of things to get to the power supply. The first thing, is gonna be the stand, if you have one attached. We're gonna hook up a flathead to our Fastech Pro Auto Kit. Let's turn the light on for extra visibility. Easily remove that stand using the Fastech Pro Auto Kit. Now the stand's off. Now we have to remove these covers these side covers here, and we're gonna do that by hitting it from the top side here, the side that looks like a router, like that. And uh, flip it over, do the same thing on this side. And from the top, always. Man, this is an ugly looking console. They, how do they go from the PS3 how do they go from this to this? It just doesn't make any sense. Now we're gonna remove this grate right here, which, which you can lift up like that. Got that out of the way. Now we're gonna switch to a Phillips bit. We're gonna remove the SSD cover. Get that out of the way. There's another screw underneath that we have to remove. Now we're gonna switch to a T9H or a T8H on our Fastech Pro Auto Kit. We're gonna remove these screws that hold the fan in. Now we're gonna be able to lift up this cover. You can leave the screws in there if you don't wanna mix them up. So have no fear, Shiro's is here. Now we're gonna lift up this cover like that. Now we're gonna remove the fan. You can grab the white part of the connector and lift it out like that. Same thing here. Only the white part. Do not pull on these yellow connectors, the off-white connectors. These are part of the motherboard. You pull that out and you're screwed. Lift out the fan like this. Now we're gonna remove these T9 screws on the mid-frame here so we can remove this cover. This one normally has a sticker like this which was already removed. If you remove this sticker right here, you will lose any warranty that you have with Sony if you're outside the United States. If you're in the United States, due to a recent FTC ruling, this is no longer considered a warranty sticker. But if you're outside the United States, you remove this, you lose your warranty. So just a fair warning. Now let's go ahead and remove all of these T9 screws. They're T9H, which you can disassemble using our Fastech Pro Auto Kit. There's two screws here and here that are missing, but I'm still gonna pretend to take them out for you guys because your consoles will have those screws.
screw in the corner I like to just leave in there. A silver screw right here. This one in the corner here. This is the longest one. This one here. This one here. And this one here. Small little silver thing. Now we should be able to lift up this panel right here. It should all come off. Boom. Like that. There's a few other things we have to get out of the way, including the disk drive. Let's push down on this clip right here and pull out the cable. Boom. Disk drive's out. Now we're going to flip the console over. There's some screws we have to remove on the other side. There's a screw in here. And there's a screw in here. At this point, now we're going to remove this cable here. We're going to remove this cable here. We're going to remove these two antenna cables here. And we're going to remove these two antenna cables here. There's some tape that we're going to have to remove here to get these cables out of the way. Now we're going to remove this black screw here on this side. It's a tall black screw. And there's still one cable for the panel I.O. and the power button at the front. So do not cause any flex on this cable. But this is the easiest way to get it out. Boom, like this. And now you should be able to simply lift out this entire assembly and i'm holding the power supply in the back as well i'll show you in a second and i'm also holding this front assembly on you don't want to pull on this because as i mentioned there's this cable here that i've kept attached okay now let's flip it over and boom there's our part that's defective so this is the power supply this is the part that's causing the issue when the system does not turn on at all this is the culprit of the issue certain blue light or death Issues are also caused by this component here. So now we can simply lift it up. There's some antenna cables here that we have to remove. We're gonna lift up this panel, get these cables out, and now just lift up this power supply right here. Boom. That's the power supply. This is a model ADP 400 DR. You can check the model number of your power supply right here. If you're watching this in Europe or Asia, your power supply is going to start with an N. And you can still order one of these at fasttechstore.com. Even if you're in Europe or Asia and you live in a 220 volt system, these power supplies, since the PS3s, have been able to do 100 and 220. So you can use them anywhere in the world. So at this point, if you were replacing this power supply, you would go to fasttechstore.com or check the links in the description box and order one from our site. Use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. We give out a lifetime warranty with these. So if the power supply dies within the lifetime of the system or within your lifetime, we will send you a replacement power supply for free. As long as you don't remove one of these warranty stickers that we put on. You will have to put your own antenna on the power supply because we wouldn't include that. So you remove this antenna by pushing down on this clip, by depressing it right here on this side, and then simply lifting it up, boom, like that. And then install it back like this, the same way you removed it, the same way you removed it. There's a hook on, there's a little clip on this side that it goes under like this. And then you can just push it down this, on this side here, boom. Now we're gonna reinstall the power supply. These two pins right here, they go in here, like this. Line it up, push it down. So what? So then we're gonna seat the power supply in. Power supply goes in first. You wanna route these cables through, like this. Make sure they don't get in the way of this hole, because there's a screw that goes underneath. And then this piece of trim goes under. So mid. So the motherboard, power supply, then this piece of trim. That's the order. Boom, like this. Now let's flip it over. Like that. Now we have our new power supply installed. Be sure to drop a like on this video 
and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What actually helps us out even more than the likes and the subscribes is if you buy the part from FastTechStore.com. And not only do you help us, you help yourself because there's no other company that gives you a lifetime warranty. I don't see Jeff Bezos doing that for you guys. So make sure to check the links in the description box if you need one of these power supplies. Now let's reinstall our motherboard and power supply assembly into the case. So it goes on like this. We're gonna keep holding on to the front, remember, because there's a cable that we do not want to damage. So we're gonna install the back in first, okay? The back goes in first. I'm also holding the power supply with one hand so it doesn't come off. So the side where the ports go in, boom, like that. And now I'm just gonna line everything up, seat everything, boom, get this heat sink in the right way. And then everything should just kind of slide into place. But you wanna get this trim down correctly like that. That's how it's supposed to go. These cables come through here. Make sure they don't get pinched on anything underneath. These are very like Japanese details here, okay? You wanna not see wires running under shit uh, in a microsoft product man xboxes are made like gmc's boom like that that's how it should look perfect now let's install that long black screw here which would seal the deal boom now you can route these cables under the tapes provided by Sony. Again, very, very Japanese. They could have just let the wires run under something and whatever, but nope. You need uh, to make sure that they're secured. And the only way to do that, of course, is with tape. This one's already ripped because uh, I am a merc and at heart, and I just destroyed them earlier so this cable goes on like this and then these are just antenna connectors you just line them up on top of the circle and then push down and you'll feel and hear it clip on so the white one goes here black one goes here this cable right here is a ribbon cable that we removed simply line it up push it in same with this one here, line it up, push it in. And by the way, guys, you could have also removed this cable, but then you'd have to remove this piece, get the clip, makes the whole process complicated. That's why I showed you guys the easy way, because I'm all about the path of least resistance. And again, one more thing, I want to emphasize it again. These wires, make sure that they don't get in the screw hole here. I want to make sure that this is clear. Otherwise, these cables would get pinched and break and then you'd be at fasttechstore.com ordering these of course why would you order anywhere else unless you were a dickhead watching this content for free and then giving bezos your money now we're going to reinstall the disk drive just put it right around here push the clip down push the cable in boom now let's install the cover back on right here Boom, make sure everything's flush. This very long screw goes in here. And then these go here. Here. here there's a screw that goes in here but that one is missing
This one goes in here. This silver one goes in here. Another tall one goes in this corner here, right here. The, another silver screw goes in here. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna install the two long screws. One of them goes in here. Like that. And another one goes in here. Boom. Now we can flip it over. Tall screw in this corner. And now there's two different types of treads of screws. The tall one goes in the disc drive here, and the shorter one goes in here. Yep, that's the correct way. Boom. When it's all the way tightened, again, there's two screws, one here, one here, that this system is missing, but your system would have those screws, so make sure you put those in. Now let's switch to a Phillips for my GoPro runs out of battery or overheats again. Switching back to iPhones actually after this week. Now we're gonna screw this screw in, kind of like how GoPro screwed me. Now we're gonna hook up this side First, this is the SSD cover, another long Phillips screw with the PlayStation symbols on it that goes here. Let's reconnect the disk drive cable now. Let's hook up the power cable on this side. Make sure these cables are tucked in here as they're supposed to. That way they don't get caught in the slide when you're sliding the cover off. Let's reinstall this factory warranty sticker on the system. Let's now install the fan. It goes on like this. Let's reconnect the connector. And now I'm gonna show you guys which screw goes in where. This is very important that you don't mess this step up, okay? So the cover goes on like this. These two screws, they go here and here. Okay, the very tall screw goes in here, and then the shortest one goes in here. I know it's a little bit confusing. If you screw this up, the only bad thing that happens is, um, well, you know, you destroy your motherboard. No big deal. Can be bought at fasttechstore.com. Boom, boom. Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit saving us a lot of time as always. Now let's reinstall this tape. And let's install this grate. Just lines up, push it in, push it down all the way, boom, boom. Let's reinstall the covers and then we'll be done. Side goes on like this, stick it right around here, push it on from the bottom, flip it over. Same thing on the other side. Put the cover right around here, when it's sliding like this, put it right around here, boom. By the way guys, if you want black side covers for your PS5, if you don't want your PS5 to look like every single router that was ever made, Check the links in the description box for these black side covers available at fasttechstore.com. 
And now we're done with our power supply replacement. Now we're gonna reinstall the stand, switching back to a flathead. Boom, boom, boom. Reinstall the stand. Our Fastech Pro Auto Kit, the version two, comes with USB-C connector, fully rechargeable. So check out this great toolkit in the description box. I promise you won't be disappointed. This toolkit has saved me a tremendous amount of time and we've now perfected it in the version two with the USB-C, even, even faster movement, it's quieter. The light this time around has a button that you can use to turn it on and off. This is a great tool and you can use it not just to disassemble your PS5, but your Xbox, your Nintendo, your granny's pacemaker, your McDonald's toys, whatever you want. Check the links in the description box and you can use a coupon code YouTube for a discount. Now it's time for us to test our work. So it looks like it works. It's always a good idea to test the system, of course, always. The PlayStation has a halo right above it. It's feeling good. So make me feel good. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, Muhammad Ali is gonna come check you. Thanks for watching another Fast Tech video. Before you leave, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. All the parts that you saw in the device that we disassembled and worked on today are available at fasttechstore.com, including our Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which disassembles all electronic devices and it's gonna save you a lot of time. If you're not satisfied with this product, send it back anytime for a full week. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech. Signing out, and I'll see you in the next one.